the wood structure is different in different species depending on the proportions arrangement shape size and distribution pattern of various cell elements like vessels fibers parenchyma rays trachea etc no wood tooths have exactly the same structure and the structural patterns seen on the end surface or in the cross section constitute as it were the fingerprints of the wood each with its own distinctive features say in this uh, this is a ring porous woods a teak is there legestromia is there morris alba is there here you can make out growth rings every year one one ring will form in this and that uh, early wood late wood pattern also we can make out whereas in diffuse porous woods uh, there is no even though a growth ring is there no differentiation of vessels uh, when we are seeing at the vessels eh, we have to see the size we have to see maybe in some it may be small some it is medium some it is very big and vessels some it is uh, exclusively solitary uh, some it is in radial multiples some in four clusters some they look like flame like four chains and then some in some cases they are arranged in a diagonal rows in some straight or wavy tangential bands like in vessel some deposits will be there uh, yellow or brown deposits will be there and in some tilosis will be there which help in identification Um, now we have finished uh, vessels. Looking at the parenchyma, there are different types of parenchyma types are there, and parenchyma distribution also we have to see. Uh, for example, vasocentric means if the parenchyma is surrounding the vessel, means that we call it as vasocentric. If it is I type, means um, aliform. If it, if it is connecting two three vessels, means aliform confluent and banded parenchyma also is there. So when we look at the any sample, we have to see what type of uh, parenchyma it is having and its distribution we have to see see these are all different types of parenchyma then rays rays uh, rays are groups of horizontally aligned parenchyma cells running in radial direction from pit or center of the log to the periphery when we make a small block this is how the second picture it looks like that Pre rays present an end surface as numerous fine whitish or light color parallel lines I try triangles to the growth rings. This also we have to uh, see when we are uh, examining any sample. Ray, see in cross section, na uh, our end grain rays look like this: parallel lines, perpendicular to growth ring. When uh, in a tangential section, they look like spindle shape. In radial section, they look like ribbon like. When uh, uh, we look uh, in under microscope, ah. Uh, For vessels, we have to count the vessels, take their measurement, their pattern. We have to study. Rays also, we have to count the measurements in uh, tangential section. Seriation, we have to see. Pits, we have to see. In radial section, we have to see whether it is homogeneous, heterogeneous, or any diagnostic characters are present in the sample. All these things we have to see. Uh, in some rays, will be very fine. in some it is medium in some it is broad all these things has to be uh, noted while we when we do identification in some timbers ripple marks are present most of the timbers uh, rays are arranged haphazardly in the tangential side like a spindle in some it is arranged in a row in a ripple marks means arranged in a, all the ways, uh, all the rays are arranged in a row it looks like as if bricks are arranged like that so this is present only in few timbers all dalbergia genus and um, uh, pterocarpus genus in some timbers some diagnostic characters pre are present for example in dipterocarpus all dipterocarpus will have uh, gum ducts by looking at the gum ducts we can tell this belongs to dipterocarpus like that for example gurgen in gurgen we can say it is scattered in sol it is a tangential line so the combination of general features gross structure and minute anatomical features will help in identifying the unknown wood sample comparing the obtained data and observations with either or in combination of literature available authentic slides images from the internet 
information from reference books and online software for the identity of the wood samples. Once the unknown wood sample matches with the exact genus or species, the result will be given in the prescribed format. So, um, when we study anatomical characters, IVA Bulletin 1989 list of characters we follow. And these two softwares we use for identification. In some cases, some timbers are adulterated. For example, when we look at these two photographs, it looks same, but it is different. First one is a teak, second one is Acacia auriculiformis. But morphologically, they look like same. By studying its anatomical characters, we can differentiate. When we cut a, make a small uh, cut and see, teak is a ring porous, Acacia auriculiformis diff is diffuse porous. And even in color and weight, uh, sometimes uh, it will be adulterated. In such cases, by looking at its structure, we can uh, tell whether it is, uh, what wood it is. So uh, when we study anatomically, the difference we can make out. Here in the Alberti latifolia, ripple marks are present, whereas in terminalia, it is absent. And in cross also different structure it is. And nowadays, uh, uh, Merbo Incia species that uh, we are importing from Australia, in, and we are selling uh, and our, um, in Indian market, it is sold as Australian Honne, because um, uh, Bijasal is, in Canada, they call it as Honne. As this uh, Tyrocarpus marsupium is not available, what timber traders they will do, this um, Incia species, Merbo, they sell in the name of uh, Honne. So the difference between these two is, uh, in the bijasol that uh, fluorescence will get when in india when we boil uh, we won't get uh, any difference uh, just a dark color brown color we get so, now, till now we have studied uh, how it has uh, it has to be identified by looking at its vessels rays parenchyma fibers they are not they won't help in identification only they give support so after uh, knowing all these things uh, why we have to identify wood the importance of timber identification is, uh, and certification is to check adulteration, misuse, illegal trade, quality assurance to avoid selling or buying the inferior timber in the name of reputed timber and inferior quality wood, to use right type of wood for our project, value for money. Choice of species should not be made merely an easy availability, cheapness, or other considerations. Before using any timber, the first and foremost essential is to know what species it is and what properties it possesses. And it is also use, useful for uh, efficient utilization of natural resource, forensic science, dendrochronology, dendroclimatology, paper and pulp technology, checking illegal trade. This is our xylarium. Here we have uh, samples from uh, Indian samples and uh, uh, whatever coming to Indian market nowadays, that also we are having, and um, foreign samples we also we are having. This is our uh, disc collection. We are uh, giving training and field identification of important timbers. In uh, this is a hands-on training program. In training, we'll give the sample lens, blade to uh, and literature to the student uh, trainees, and they will look at the sample and they will uh, know what, how to identify uh, different uh, wood elements, and they will uh, learn how to do it. Uh, one week program this is, and uh, if you want, we can also conduct three days program. Uh, if you want any training program, you can uh, contact us. And also we are doing uh, identification of wood samples. We are receiving samples from police department, revenue intelligence, customs, forest department, construction company, CPWD, CP, KPWD, BSNL, public, etc. Uh, 10,000 rupees we charge for uh, samples per sample. If police cases, uh, we charge 20,000 plus 18% GST. Thank you.